Hey everybody, the phone you're looking at here is not the LG G6. This is instead the LG Q6, the new mid-tier smartphone from the South Korean phone maker. So as you can see, this phone has the same slim bezels, edge-to-edge -edge display, and the 18 by 9 aspect ratio of the LG G6, and also the Samsung Galaxy S8. In fact, it's pretty uncanny that when you put the two phones side by side, you see how close the bezels are. So that's very impressive that you can get what is essentially a flagship 2017 design on at a budget price. Now LG has not announced pricing worldwide yet, but this phone is selling in Korea right now, South Korea, for 416,000 won. I did the currency exchange, that's about 2,600 Hong Kong dollars, which is about 300 US. Now I've been told that the price might be a bit lower in Southeast Asia and in Europe. So expect it to be under the 300 US range, whatever that is in your currency. So now this phone does have some shortcoming. It has only a Snapdragon 435 chip, so it's not that powerful. When I'm jumping on normal apps, it's fine, but when I'm trying to open Mortal Kombat X, which is a really heavy app, the game took really, really long time to load. And also, this phone has no fingerprint sensor. So that means to unlock, you'll have to either use the pin or the face unlock. Unfortunately, the face unlock is actually quite fast. You see how it just opened right away when I looked at it? Now, how secure is this? I'm not sure. There is an option in setting to make the face unlock apparently a little bit more secure. Now, I tried it actually. I turned it on and after I turned it on, it took like two full seconds to unlock on my face. LG says that when you turn that on, it'll make it a lot harder to trick the facial recognition with like a picture. I don't have a huge picture of my face to try yet, but I did um, use a picture of my face on an iPad, so which is pretty close to my real life head size to put it on and it didn't trick the phone. So otherwise, metal frame, this is a pretty nice build for a mid-tier device. Now moving on to the camera. This phone only has one camera on the back, it's a 13 megapixel, so there is no uh, wide angle lens of the LG G6, but the photos still came out pretty good. Let's look at some samples. So as you can see, color looks very vibrant. Details are good. Overall contrast is good and even in low light. I took a couple of photos in low light in, in like a dark alley and it came out pretty well. And also video. LG has a really good optical image stabilization software. They call it like a study record or something, and it looks really good. So there's only one speaker on the back, which isn't that great. So you can easily muffle it. But otherwise, I'm walking, I'm walking pretty fast right now, and look at the video, it's smooth. So now I'm walking faster. So I'm basically jogging right now. So the optical image, image stabilization is excellent. So now this display is 5.5 inch at uh, 2160 by 1080 um, pixels. So that's a PPI of 442. So that's still really dense. So when you're watching videos, colors come out really good and it's just really cool to see how immersive it is. I wish you can hide the navigation button, but there isn't a way to do that now, so that takes up, wastes a bit of the screen. So now as mentioned, the PPI is really good. So that means when you're, when you're surfing the web, the text is really crisp. And I really enjoy reading on a display that is almost edge to edge. It's just a joy to look at. So now the Q6, version of the Q6 I have has 3 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs or 32 gigs of internal storage. This is the standard version. There's a weaker version with 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage. And the Q6 Plus, which has 4 gigs of RAM. So 3 gigs of RAM with the Snapdragon 435 chip is, it's not, obviously not powerful, but it should be enough to get the job done if you are just someone who just likes to go on Facebook and, you know, watch YouTube. Let's load up a YouTube video, actually. 
So we're now watching YouTube. This is a... Sorry, I accidentally turned off the screen earlier. So now we're watching YouTube. So this is an LCD panel. So the dark is not as deep and clear and immersive, I'd say, AMOLED display. But the viewing angle is excellent on this LCD panel. And one thing I really like about the screen is when you take a photo, the viewfinder is huge. And just look at how cool that looks. I really like how, how the viewfinder takes up the entire screen. It just looks really immersive. Okay, so this is just a quick hands-on. I'll have a full review later. This is the LG Q6. If you want the kind of slim bezel design without paying a high price, this is a good option. Although there are a lot of Chinese phones that's going to give you a similar bezel-less display too. But I just think LG and Samsung do it the best right now because obviously they're the ones that pioneer this tech. Rounded corners, really easy to grip because of the 18 by 9 aspect ratio so thank you for watching i'll be back with a full review